Welcome back, deep thinkers. Today we're diving deep into a topic that has fascinated humanity for centuries, karma. Did you know that 85% of people believe in some form of karma? It's a concept that resonates across cultures and belief systems. We often hear phrases like what goes around comes around or you reap what you sow. But have you ever stopped to consider the profound psychological implications of karma? It's not just a mystical idea. It has very real and practical implications for how we live and interact with the world. In this video, we're going to explore 10 psychological facts about karma that will change the way you see the world. Let's start by talking about karma in relationships. Think about a painful breakup. Maybe you faced betrayal, it hurts, right? Were there early signs you ignored? Karma isn't cosmic punishment. It's about the energy we bring. Kindness creates a positive cycle. Deceit brings negative energy back. Reflect on a happy relationship. Both partners contribute to positivity. Toxic relationships have unhealthy patterns. Understanding karma empowers change. Now let's shift gears from the personal to the professional and talk about karma in the workplace. We've all seen it. The colleague who gossips, the boss who micromanages, the employee who takes credit for others' work. In the short term, they might seem to get ahead, but over time, their behavior creates a toxic work environment. People don't trust them, their teams become dysfunctional, and their reputation suffers. On the flip side, think about someone who's known for their integrity, their work ethic, and their willingness to help others. They lift others up, they're generous with their time and knowledge, and they always give credit where it's due. These individuals often find themselves surrounded by opportunities. People want to work with them. They're respected by their peers, and their careers tend to flourish. Karma in the workplace reminds us that our professional lives are not separate from our ethical and moral compass. How we treat our colleagues, our clients, and even our competitors matters. Families are the original crucible for karma. Think about it. The patterns, the dynamics, the unspoken rules, they're often passed down through generations. Maybe your family is very emotionally expressive or maybe they're more stoic and reserved. These patterns, for better or worse, become part of our own emotional blueprint. Sometimes family karma manifests as repeating patterns. For example, if there's a history of addiction or mental health issues in a family, subsequent generations might struggle with similar challenges. This isn't to say it's predetermined, but those patterns create a vulnerability. However, awareness is the first step to breaking free. But family karma isn't just about inheriting burdens. It's also about carrying forward the strengths and resilience of our ancestors. Think about the stories of your grandparents or great-grandparents. Their struggles, their sacrifices, their triumphs, they all contributed to shaping who you are today. Understanding these patterns can help us make conscious choices about how we want to interact with our own families and break free from cycles that no longer serve us. Now, let's widen the lens even further and talk about collective karma. This refers to the shared karma of a group of people, a community, or even an entire nation. Think about historical events like wars, famines, or social injustices. These events are often the culmination of collective choices, actions, and sometimes inaction. The concept of collective karma suggests that we are all interconnected, and our actions or lack thereof have far-reaching consequences. When a society perpetuates injustice or inequality, it creates a karmic debt that can manifest as social unrest, economic hardship, or even environmental disasters. However, collective karma can also be a force for positive change. Think about social movements like the civil rights movement or the fight for LGBTQ plus equality. These movements were fueled by the collective desire for justice, equality, and a better future. Understanding collective karma reminds us that we are not isolated individuals. We are part of something much larger than ourselves. Beyond the philosophical and spiritual implications, believing in karma can have profound psychological benefits. It can serve as a moral compass, guiding us towards more ethical and compassionate behavior. When we believe that our actions have consequences, we're more likely to think twice before making choices that could harm ourselves or others. Numerous studies have shown that people who believe in karma tend to be happier, more empathetic, and more forgiving. They also report higher levels of life satisfaction, and lower levels of stress and anxiety. Why? Because karma encourages us to focus on what we can control, our own actions, rather than getting caught up in the things we can't. Karma offers a different perspective. It encourages us to let go of the need for retribution and trust that, in time, justice will be served. It's a powerful framework for personal growth and transformation. We've all heard stories about instant karma. 
Those seemingly serendipitous moments where a bad deed is immediately followed by a stroke of bad luck. While some might dismiss these instances as mere coincidence, they often serve as powerful reminders that our actions have consequences. From a psychological perspective, the experience of instant karma, whether real or perceived, can be a powerful deterrent for negative behavior. When we witness someone experiencing immediate repercussions for their actions, it reinforces our belief that there are consequences to our choices. Think about a time when you saw someone cut in line and then miss their turn, or perhaps gossip about someone only to have their words overheard by the very person they were talking about. These seemingly small instances can have a big impact on our understanding of cause and effect. The concept of instant karma can serve as a potent reminder that our actions matter and that even seemingly insignificant choices can have unforeseen consequences. Whether or not you believe in instant karma, the possibility of experiencing immediate repercussions for our actions can serve as a powerful motivator for ethical behavior. Karmic debt is a complex concept. Harmful actions accumulate a debt that needs balancing. This debt offers growth opportunities. Every action creates an energetic imprint. Karmic debt restores balance. It manifests as challenges to learn from past mistakes. Positive actions create karmic credits. Understanding karmic debt empowers us to change our trajectory. The connection between our mental and emotional well-being and the concept of karma is profound. While karma is often associated with external events, it's essential to recognize its impact on our inner world. When we live in alignment with our values, acting with kindness and compassion, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and harmony. This, in turn, positively influences our mental health. Conversely, when we consistently engage in negative behaviors, lying, cheating, gossiping, or harboring resentment, we create inner turmoil. This can manifest as anxiety, guilt, shame, and even depression. Think about a time when you did something that went against your values, something that made you feel ashamed or guilty. How did that affect your mental state? Did you feel anxious, depressed? Now, contrast that with a time you acted with integrity, kindness, or generosity. How did those actions make you feel? Chances are you experienced a sense of inner peace, joy, or fulfillment. Now let's talk about how understanding karma can empower us to make more conscious and ethical decisions. When we view our choices through the lens of karma, we're more likely to consider the long-term consequences of our actions, not just the immediate gratification. This is not to say that karma should be a source of fear or paralysis. Instead, it's a framework for making choices that are aligned with our values and contribute to a more positive and fulfilling life. Imagine yourself at a crossroads faced with a difficult decision. You could choose the easy path, the one that might offer immediate gratification but could potentially harm others or compromise your values. Or, you could choose the path of integrity, the one that might be more challenging in the short term but ultimately leads to greater peace of mind and a clearer conscience. When we consider the karmic implications of our choices, we're more likely to choose the path of integrity, even when it's difficult. Is there any scientific evidence to support the concept of karma? Research suggests our thoughts and actions impact our well-being and the world around us. Studies show a link between our thoughts, emotions, and physical health. Positive emotions like gratitude and compassion boost our immune system and longevity. Chronic stress and anger increase the risk of heart disease and other illnesses. Negative emotions harm us more than anyone else. More research is needed, but evidence shows our actions impact our well-being and the world. This understanding empowers us to make positive choices for a fulfilling life. As we conclude our exploration of karma, I hope you've gained a deeper understanding of this powerful concept and its relevance in our lives. It's not just a mystical idea, it's a profound framework for understanding the interconnectedness of our actions, our relationships, and our place in the world. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your experiences with karma in the comments below. Have you ever witnessed the power of karma firsthand? What resonates most with you about this concept? Let's continue the conversation. Thank you deep thinkers for joining me on this journey into the fascinating world of karma. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to make choices that align with your values and create a more positive ripple effect in the world.